Incredible effort on a very short-handed Ravens team against the number one seed in the NFC, the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I thought Huntley was spectacular, going 28 of 40 for 215 yards, two TDs. More importantly, no interceptions. Andrews, I mean, with all due respect to Kelsey and Kittle, he's the best tight end in the NFL right now. And a great improvement on third down. They were 7 of 13. So some things to, to crow about on a very tough night for the Ravens. Let's begin with uh, some of the decisions by Huntley. The very first play, they seemed to open up on third down. They did a lot of empty sets, three by two, and the Packers wanted to bring pressure. You're going to see on this first play, they man up. They bring a five-man pressure. That leaves an easy recognition, particularly at the bottom. The DB does not come down and cover Prochet closely enough. Too much off coverage for third and seven. And a nice read by Huntley simply throwing in the slant on the backside. Uh, here you're going to see on a third and two. What I love about this, I want you to watch the push from the left guard to the right guard. You're going to see Cleveland, Bozeman at center, and Zeitler. Not only the push they get, but watch how they get up to the second level. This is on an important third and two, and Bozeman actually gets pushed, gets up. They were playing Green Bay in the running game on the Green Bay side of the line. Unfortunately, uh, with the Rodgers going off, they couldn't run the ball more. They had to keep up. But I thought it was a great job by the offensive line when they did run the ball and get excellent push. Uh, and then you're going to see here, this is on a touchdown. This was interesting. Huntley does a nice job. Again, they're going to get a five-man rush. So he knows, okay, I'm manned up across the board. He ends up flushing to the right. The defensive end for Green Bay comes underneath. Huntley, an excellent athlete, gets to the outside. And you can see Andrews. He was supposed to cross the field. He uncovers. He makes himself available to Huntley. Again, Green Bay making the mistake of going man for man on Andrews. An excellent job by Huntley finding the uncovered Andrews and him working himself available for the touchdown. Now we're going to come back and, and when you look at a game and it was as tough as it was, uh, there are so many things that you can look at and say, hey, this could have gone this way or that way. Again, Andrews, unbelievable night for what he had. He sets the bunch at the top. He runs a deep crossing route. Again, pressure by Green Bay, man for man. They obviously thought this was the way to get to Huntley, uh, but they didn't realize until late. You can't man for man with Andrews. This is a nice job Huntley recognizing. You see Bateman uncovering the DV at the bottom and Huntley putting in a great shot, allowing Andrews to use his size to body up and get the catch at the back of the end zone. Excellent route, excellent throw and recognition, throwing under pressure for a touchdown. Uh, and you got to talk the defense. I realized it was a tough night, but here you're going to see inside the five yard line. You're going to watch the way the entire defensive line sells out, including the linebackers, obviously Williams and Ellis, but Houston, Bynes, and, and Queen. Watch the way they sell out on the two yard line to stop this run. This is a total commitment to stop the run. They take on the two gap, they take on the pressure. The linebackers fill very, very quickly and stone this run. Uh, this was an excellent job by the front seven. And then this was the key as well on just a four man rush. Unfortunately, with all the injuries to the secondary uh, that the Ravens have, Coach Martindale wasn't gonna be able to do a lot of his patented five and six man pressures. You had to get home with just a four man rush. And it can't just be one guy because Rogers is too good at avoiding a one man rush and getting outside. Here you can see, this is a total four man collapse of the pocket. Everybody wins. Everybody comes collapsing down on Rogers. He's got no place to go and it ends up with a sack. So that was a huge part of the game as well. I wanna show the last touchdown by Huntley for the very reason we talk about the way they man for man on, on Andrews all night long. Finally, yeah, they wanted to bring pressure, but they manned up and they doubled. You're gonna see here on the right side, Andrews, he ends up getting doubled. Well, if you're gonna go man and double on a key guy like Andrews, Excellent job by Huntley saying you're out of people on a four man rush. We've split the secondary. You're doubling on, on uh, Andrews, which you got to do. And it ends up leading into the touchdown. So excellent job uh, by the Ravens offense, making this a game at the end. Everybody wants to talk about the two point conversion. I think it was absolutely the right call by John Harbaugh. Why you're playing maybe the best quarterback in the history of the game, slam dunk hall of fam famer. In, in Aaron Rodgers. They've been kind of up and down the field all day. Even though the offense and Huntley played pretty well, you're making the calculation, can we on one play beat the odds of 50-50 on a two-point play as opposed to going into overtime and now me giving the greatest quarterback maybe in the history of the game against my quarterback who's only on his second start 
and and uh, and give them an entire season or a, a, an entire series to win the game. So I thought it was the right call. Next up, Cincy, uh, obviously a challenge. They got to do a better job against Burrow than they did last time. He had 416 yards, three touchdowns, gave up too many big plays. That's going to be the challenge for the shorthanded secondary of the Ravens.